The following program contains material that is just too cute. Viewer discretion is advised. Three remarkable litters. Three fascinating breeds. One amazing story. Kittens coming of age. The first 10 weeks of their lives will be a colorful, adorable adventure and a totally wild ride. Because these kittens are simply too lovable, too curious, too cute. These six tiny kittens just opened their eyes. They're eight days old and taking in a whole new world. It's a family of Tonkinese kittens, or Tonks for short. Tonks were bred in the 1960s, blending the best traits of both Burmese and Siamese cats. They have the Burmese sense of play, and like their Siamese cousins, can be quite chatty. Though Tonkinese kittens are born a creamy white with dark eyes, over time, their coats will darken, and their eyes will turn icy blue just like their two mothers. Queenie and Princess gave birth to their litters just one day apart. And they all came together to form one big extended family. Queenie is actually Princess's mother. So the family tree gets pretty complicated. Ready? Princess's kittens are Queenie's grandkittens. Queenie's kittens, on the other hand, are Princess's half-brothers and sisters. And the kittens are aunts and uncles and nephews and nieces to one another. But Princess and Queenie are happy to feed and care for all their kittens, no matter whose is whose. This little guy, Cookie, is as sweet as they come. He's extremely focused on the task at hand, getting all the breakfast he can, and maybe even an extra helping if no one stops him. His brother, Muffin, isn't faring quite so well. He's finding communal living a bit too cozy. Muffins had it with crowding and makes a daring move to find some breathing space. But with two pairs of eyes watching, it's not easy for the little explorer to break away. especially with eager first-time mom, Princess, on duty. But brothers Muffin and Cookie know there's an upside to the extra security. Twice as much love. Another story is unfolding over in the city of New York home to some of the world's most stylish and sophisticated cats. Ikea, true to her name, is a fan of sleek design and lives in a one-bedroom apartment furnished with flair. These days, Ikea has more than style on her mind. She's got a litter of nine-day-old kittens, 
who sport the unique curled ears of their breed, the American Curl. These kittens were actually born with straight ears, but during their first week of life, their ears slowly curled back like rose petals. This trait comes from a genetic mutation that appeared in the 80s and is now a breed standard. Because it's such a new breed, there are only a few thousand American curls worldwide. IKEA's four kittens have just opened their eyes. Little Jonas can't seem to get comfortable. He's a restless soul. Kittens sleep up to 20 hours per day, but not if they can't find a good spot. Jonas tries everything and everywhere, but can't settle down. All this wiggling is keeping his sister, Fabrina, awake too, and she tries to squirm away from him. Now that she's up, little sister Fabrina realizes life's too exciting. There's a whole world outside her bed, and she wants in. She never stops moving, not even for a New York minute. Ikea would like all her kittens to tuck in for the night. They need their beauty rest. If New York is the city that never sleeps, Fabrina and Jonas will fit right in. In the heart of suburbia, a new mom named Sierra is busy with her six-day-old brood of Maine Coon kittens. Maine Coons are one of the oldest and largest breeds of domestic cats. It's said the Maine Coon came to the United States over 200 years ago by way of ships from France. Maybe their seafaring roots are the reason they love water. After their arrival, they continued to evolve on their own in the forests of Maine. Their thick coats and oversized paws help them survive snowy winters. At more than 25 pounds, adult Maine Coons are giants among cats. But the kittens are only about six ounces each. If these little guys want to be imposing figures like mom, they have to eat at least a quarter of their body weight per day. This orange fellow is Dante. And he's taking a little longer to get the hang of, well, everything. To Dante, finding a feeding spot is like finding a needle in a dark, furry haystack. No food over there. Or there. Dante doesn't know what's up and what's down. But he's doing his best. Orange cats are four times more likely to be male cats, and a sleepy Dante is four times more likely to be adorable. Unlike Dante, dark and lovely Lulu doesn't mess around. She finds her feeding spot right away. Lulu doesn't know she's a small fry, or maybe she doesn't care. If Lulu wants, say, a kiss from mom, Lulu goes and gets it. After Dante worked so hard to get his spot at the table, the table decides dinner's over. A giant breed doesn't just mean big eaters. 
It means giant nappers, too. Coming up, Jonas is in way over his head. And Muffin and Cookie get an airlift home. Over at the Tonkinese house, there's something to sneeze about. Mother Queenie has caught a common cold. Her vet prescribed rest and a break from mothering. She's been separated from Princess and all their kittens, so they don't get sick too. But the good thing about having two moms around is one can take over the babysitting when times get tough. Princess, the less experienced mom, is now in charge of two litters on her own, while Queenie recovers in the room next door. Looks like Princess has her paws full. Really full. To Muffin and his brother Cookie, one less babysitter means double the freedom. All it takes is a signal that Princess isn't watching. and these four-week-old bandits head off to survey the territory. And where do they go? The one place they're not allowed, the stairs. Breaking rules is fun, but there's a reason the stairs are off limits. Kittens get stuck. Princess hears Muffin's SOS. Even though she's busy with four other kittens, Supermom Princess is there in a flash to rescue the two runaways. Airlift successful. But the mission is only half complete. Princess is doing her best. But childcare sure was easier when Queenie was around. Back in the city, the three-week-old American curls haven't yet left their bed. And for restless city kitties Jonas and Fabrina, it's time to bust out. about to discover they live in a kitty paradise with cool stuff of all shapes and sizes to climb on. A small apartment looks awfully big when you weigh just 10 ounces, but Fabrina is ready to see every inch of it. The siblings hang back, but soon Jonas gets the itch to explore too. As his first big quest, Jonas decides to scale the living room ottoman. He's willing to step on anyone to get to the top, including Fabrina. Fabrina joins Jonas at the observation deck, and the view is worth the climb. Fabrina wants to get down first. There's lots more to explore. Suddenly alone, Jonas is a bit over his head. How did Fabrina get down so quickly?
But with Mom watching... Jonas tries to be brave and takes a different strategy. Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. While Jonas gets some praise from Mom, Fabrina decides she's not finished exploring. With paws on the ground and eyes on the road, Fabrina is outward bound. That's enough distance for one day. Time to get back to Mom. Back at the main Coon house, the three-week-old kittens are starting to get their distinctive, long, lush coats. Lulu is feeling confident in dark gray, and she's shouting it from the rooftops, or at least from the blanket. Bold since birth, Lulu always tries to get the last word. The more mobile Dante gets, the more clumsy he seems. He's only 14 ounces, but someday he'll weigh over 25 pounds. Like his father, Sabu. Sabu is meeting his kittens for the first time. But at 27 pounds, he's more than a little intimidating. Lulu wants to know who this big guy thinks he is. And doesn't he know those toys are hers? Sabu is trying his best to be a dad, but at only nine months old, he's really just a big kitten himself. <laughs> He wants to make nice and love these guys as hard as he can. But that's sort of the problem. Lulu tries to be friendly. But Sabu needs to work on his etiquette. Dante doesn't know what he's in for. Or maybe he does. Lulu warns him. Dante gathers his courage and greets his new playmate. He wonders when the uh, fun will end. Like a nor'eastern storm, Sabu, the Maine Coon dad, leaves as quickly as he came. and the kittens aren't sure what hit them. Coming up, the American curls break the speed limit. Over at the Tonkinese house, Queenie's in the next room with a cold. So Princess is flying solo, mothering both their litters. And sometimes it's a rough ride. Like at lunchtime. All six kittens make a rush for it. 
With half the feeding spots, they've got to get in there with gusto. And they do. Just ask Princess. This mom needs a break. But help is on the way. The kittens aren't weaned yet, but with one mom down for the count, they're starting on soft food early. Little go-getters Muffin and Cookie decide this dish is all theirs. It seems like hungry kittens have very bad table manners. At around five weeks old, kittens start developing the ability to right themselves when they jump or fall, so they can safely land on all fours. Back at the apartment in the city, the American Curl Kittens are the perfect size to enjoy their city kitty paradise. At five weeks, the adventurous duo, Fabrina and Jonas, are furry bundles of energy. And they love to egg each other on. They speed uptown, and downtown. Ikea is stuck in traffic. Once daunted by the Ottoman, Jonas conquers it and makes it his. He dares Fabrina to knock him off. To be outdone, Fabrina climbs to the top of the Empire State Scratching Post. It's about 15 kittens high. But she's been so busy on her perch, she lost Jonas. He's got to be around here somewhere. Tag, you're it. At the Maine Coons house in the suburbs, the six-week-old kittens are just learning to tackle the stairs. But the trip is worth it, because the stairs lead to their big mama, Sierra. She's enjoying a drink at her favorite watering hole. Her kittens have never seen anything quite like this before. In the wild, Maine Coons have been known to fish out of rivers and streams. Their thick coats are water resistant, keeping these big cats warm and dry. Maine Coons are fascinated by water, maybe because of the way it moves. But to Dante, running water is something of a mystery. Mom Sierra demonstrates. Look, it's fun. But fun is subjective. Brave little Lulu tries to warm up to the stuff. But clearly, water is not to be trusted. Dante is willing to explore. But is a little confused about what goes where. Oh. 
Oh, well, you can lead a kitten to water, but you can't make him play. Sierra ends the demonstration, and the kittens head back to the playroom. Led by Dante, with his usual flair. Coming up, Muffin and Cookie discover a super secret passageway. And Fabrina and Jonas expand their territory. And now, a too cute quiz. Which of the three breeds is often born with extra toes? Is it the nimble Tonkinese, the fluffy American Curl, or the oversized Maine Coon? The answer, next. Which of the three breeds is often born with extra toes? The answer, the Maine Coon. The extra digits help Maine Coons walk more easily on snow, earning them the nickname Snowshoe Cats. Over at the Maine Coons house, Lulu and her litter are enjoying a lazy Sunday morning. Dante is just settling down when... Trouble walks in. Trouble wants to play. And play hard. Since Dad Sabu last visited, Lulu's doubled in size and tripled in confidence. And she definitely remembers this guy. Wow, that's a big hiss for a little girl. Message received. Over and out. Over at the Tonkinese house, it's been two weeks since first time mom, Princess, took over. And she's finally got the hang of caring for the double dose of kittens. As far as she's concerned, they're all her babies. Meanwhile, Queenie's cold is better, but she's gotten very attached to her fancy couch and all the quiet time. Eager Mom Princess is quite happy where she is, and she couldn't go anywhere if she wanted to. Now, with only one babysitter on duty, Cookie and Muffin get up to no good in the best way possible. Boys will be boys. A little soccer. Then some boxing. This climbing through walls stuff gives the boys an idea. The kittens haven't seen Queenie in weeks. It seems like they wonder where she is. Cookie and Muffin do some investigation and discover a secret passageway, a kitten-sized crack in the wall between Princess and Queenie. Maybe they know someone special is on the other side, so they set out for a visit. This is gonna be good. Over at the American Curls apartment, the welcome mat says it all. This apartment is too small. The restless kittens are getting bigger, but this 400 square foot apartment isn't. Adventurous Fabrina and her sidekick Jonas have explored every corner. And even some corners they shouldn't. Like all New Yorkers, they want more space.
when an opportunity opens up. The inevitable happens, and the curious curls make their move. They go where no kitten has gone before. It's like this place goes on forever. What to do with all this space? Party! The thing is, once kittens spill out, it's hard to put them back into their proper container. Coming up, Lulu takes charge at the vet, and it's a Tonkinese family reunion. In New York, the big city just got bigger for the American curls. The kittens have discovered the hallway. And it's the best hallway ever. But now Mom Ikea has a problem. Her little New Yorkers love their new real estate and might not want to downsize. But it's time to come home. And you know why? Because Mom says so. The hallway was fun, but who knows what they dragged in. Ikea likes everything, including her kittens, to be clean and lovely. So they got a bath and some time at the in-house groomer, whether they like it or not. Fabrina is definitely for it. And of course, they all need to get their beauty sleep. After a big adventure, there's just one thing left to do. Rest up for the next one. Over in Maine Coon country, the kittens have a very important appointment. It's their first trip outside in the big world. It's crowded, but Lulu and Dante have the window seat to take in all the new sights. All kittens need regular exams, but with oversized breeds like the Maine Coons, the vet has to make sure they're growing at a healthy rate. Is it supposed to be fun here? The kittens aren't so sure about this, except for one brave soul who goes first, Dante. Looks like Lulu's not the only brave kitten in the pack anymore. Lulu is unflappable as always. While she waits her turn, she stumbles upon some intriguing toys. And something very familiar. But this isn't just a play date. The vet checks that Lulu's eyes are bright, her weight is on target, and Dante's growing like a weed, a furry orange weed. The Maine Coons are officially fit felines and free to go. It looks like the ride home will be an easy one. At the Tonkinese house, 
Brothers Cookie and Muffin have just discovered a secret passageway that can take them to Queenie's room. Of course, Muffin and Cookie are the first ones to come through and explore the other side. They've never been in this room. For bold kittens, they're actually feeling a little shy. But the regal Queenie has all the patience in the world. And Cookie and the others soon make the reunion complete. Some hellos are worth waiting for. Next, the American Curls hang in there for one more adventure. At the Tonkinese house, the kittens have worked out a system that makes everyone happy. The kittens can go where they please and visit any mom, any time. Muffin is larger and browner, just like Mom Princess. And he likes keeping her on her toes. Cookie favors cuddling with Queenie, which for her works just fine. In the last 10 weeks, these tiny tonks went from a crowded bed of fuzzy kittens to a rambunctious group of siblings, with Cookie and Muffin leading the way. With double the attention, these kittens have the best of both worlds. They live in a house with a lot of love and harmony. Well, definitely love. In the bustling metropolis, the American curls are bustling too, ready for their next adventure. They are about to take all this kitten energy to a place farther than they've ever been. To an upscale, uptown playdate. But a stylish kitten never leaves the house without looking her best. Some custom-made jewels will do nicely. Jonas might be too tough for sparkles. But not for Brina. Anything fancier? Much better. Ikea is proud to send her kittens off to have fun. She's raised a sweet bunch. In just eight weeks, Fabrina and Jonas have gone from restless kittens to poised young felines, ready to broaden their boundaries. But for today, they are city cats on the go. And if they can make it here, they can make it anywhere. At the main Coon house, there's another play date in progress. Dad Sabu finally met his match, Dante. 
It seems Dante has found his inner big cat, and he's ready for action. Sabu couldn't be happier. Meanwhile, Lulu's got somewhere to go. Now that Lulu's bigger and even braver, looks like Mom Sierra's going to have to share her sink. In just 10 weeks, the Maine Coons have gone from hungry little fur balls to confident kittens who can stand up for themselves. It took some time, but this family is coming together. Mother and daughter, and father and son.